Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and in the last episode, I asked you guys for another challenge for 60 seconds that we could try, and you guys submitted many, many challenges again, and I went pretty much through all of them and looked for the ones that got the most upvotes by you guys, so that's what you wanted to see. And this one is by Legal Eagle Lawbot. Great nickname. Um, it's called Man's Only Friend and goes as following. I'm allowed to only bring Ted, obtain Pancake, and if I live 13 days after Pancake or the military saves me, I win. So I, li I like that little, little, little different approach there that it also says if I survive 13 days after getting Pancake, I win. So that's cool. But um, yeah. Uh, that is pretty much the plan. Items that I'm allowed to bring are two food cans, three water bottles, a Boy Scout book, the flashlight, radio, medkit, rifle, and axe. Pretty much all the items that I would need to obtain pancake. And we're playing it on a top bomber difficulty. The hard one as usual. Um, otherwise, where would be the challenge? Am I right? All right. So let's let, let's grab all of these items. I hope I can get them all. Um, that's always the tricky part. All right, three water bottles. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with them since I can't. Okay, two. Uh, two food cans, right? Yes, and one another. Okay, I got all the food. Very nice. Now I gotta find the Boy Scout book. Uh, this is not the radio. That is bad. Where is the actual radio? Um, rifle. I'm allowed to bring the rifle and the radio. So I will absolutely get that. Um, da -da -da. here's the Boy Scout book. Very good. We need that. We need the med kit. The X. Also allowed to bring the X, but I don't have enough inventory space. New. Okay, um, the fire axe. Yes, very good. There's the flashlight over there. Come here. We'll make her of light. You bring light to my darkness. Um, am I missing something? Flashlight, radio, medkit, rifle, axe, boy scout book. I think I have everything. Just just making sure. Sorry, family. Can't can bring you. We're doing a challenge here. Um, yeah. I hope you will forgive me. And I hope I got all the items. Better, better make an inventory. But I think I grabbed them all. Did I get the radio that was next to the rifle? So I think we're fine. Well, let's see. Okay, looks good, looks good. I'm gonna go do a quick inventory check here. Three water bottles, yes. Two food cans, yes. Med kit, absolutely allowed. Radio, flashlight, Boy Scout book, yep, wonderful. And an axe, and a rifle, and of course, Ted in the bunker. Let's see if this works out. I would love to. Um, when fire rains down from the sky, it's every man for himself. We don't have that much food and no one is complaining yet. Well, you're alone, Ted, and for you alone, if we look at this, this is, um... Don't let me lie, but I think... Uh, soup, six, seven, eight days or something, and that's four times that. Same with the water, it's five days, so, um, there's 20 days, 60 days. Technically, one survivor could survive for 60 days with three bottles of water, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yeah, five days, by four, 20, yeah. So, that's actually really good, but we're gonna need one food can for pancake. We've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake, for some reason it never worked. Well, I never had a party with a huge cake, actually. I mean, I had a party as a kid and I got a Benjamin Blümchen torta and Ted went crazy the first day, no one around. Might still be okay. Even if Ted has gone crazy, that doesn't necessarily mean this is going to be an issue. Unless he breaks something, then yeah, not as good, but here it goes. Ted has gone crazy. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Of course, we're not going to do an expedition. We can't also go on an expedition outside. There, Even the government drop, drops crates. We can't go out. That's, that's the... Um, disadvantage of having only one survivor. You can only send them in the scavenge events where it says um, you want to send one of them out even though you didn't prepare for an expedition. Anyway, it's day three. There's nothing more annoying than sounds and that's all we're getting from the radio. Uh, is there anything we can do to do with the radio to make it work again? No, I don't I don't think we should. I genuinely think we, don't, we, we should not. Um, one thing that I really like about this challenge is, even though Ted is crazy now, we have the Boy Scout book. We could uh, find get the event for... Oh, I got to fly it by accident. Uh, we could get, well, sane again if we get the event that we're looking for photos. I mean, that helps our sanity at least, a little bit. Day four, and our neighborhood is still radioactive. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's a quake, and we're gonna lose radio or flashlight. We need to get the flashlight, because without that, 
we cannot get pancake that's very important even though i would prefer to have both of them the earthquake took its toll so we lo lost the radio we might still be able to fix it with the boy scout book so, but i'm just saying i can still win this challenge if pancake makes it right so that that's an important factor here for me uh one foot in the grave he needs a drink right now yes he will get a drink that would be sad come on here have one have a drink uh, neighborhood still at risk. Don't worry. We're not sending you out, Teddy boy. You're gonna stay in here with Mr. Sock Puppet and you're gonna be great, great friends. It is day six in our little bunker. It is getting weird. The walls are moving in. Uh, we can take care of ourselves and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, then have some soup. All right. We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday. Wait, what? Did I, did I actually click by mistake that I prepared an expedition? Because I'm not gonna send out... Uh, Ted with that event We'll see that was odd. Anyway, Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Good That makes me that makes me happy. Ted is a little tired. He needs a nap It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can tell if it's night or day Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping too bad We can't replace them. There's to be something else we can do about this. Here's the thing if I use the first aid kit now on Ted and Pancake comes wounded to us. We can't help him and then we need to bury him and I would lose the challenge Therefore we have to Ted has to be tired. There's nothing I can do about that He's now crazy and tired even a sock puppet is a tired tired sock puppet pop sock puppet So say say sock puppet ten times fast Try it. It's tricky Bravely ignoring our symptoms. We try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck We were more tired than we were and there are no other uh, there are other problems. We will need to face soon Let's hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away. Where's water when Ted needs it? Ted is really tired. No, Ted, you got no... There's nothing you have to go to. There's no events or anything. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be good out to take a quick look outside. Ah, it's Pancake. Good that I kept the flashlight. Um, Now we're going to shine in his cute little doggy face. Doggy dog. I hope I can do this. That, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. If I don't make this challenge, I will not try it again. I'm just saying this is... I try every challenge only once. So if you have a challenge down there, I will definitely uh, look through them. Make sure to leave your ideas for challenges below. Um, anyway, we were decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door and let it out. Ah, pancake. Hopefully it will come back later. It will. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave and he needs water right now. Well, he needs it tomorrow, not not right now, so that's good. Um, there's nothing we can do to send Ted out. Yeah, I don't want to send him. I do not want to send him. We were about to get some sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of Wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? It's probably Raiders or the Merry Man or... You know what? I'll, I'll open it because I personally think it is a prank knock. A prankster. That, that happens very early during the day. Nothing bad usually happens. Yeah, we opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. And I had my hopes up that I could get rescued on Tsabomba. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink. I agree. It is day 10. It's that time again. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in ours. None at all. Well, you're, you're alone. Uh, we can just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. I like to imagine that Ted is writing this down and he's talking about we because of his sock puppet. Of course. All right, let's see about that. Okay, I did not forget the water for a second. I thought I did. That would be very sad. All right, Ted seems to be doing all right. Uh, do we get an event? As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. I would love to listen to the military and make contact with them. If only I had a radio. That, that would be great. Just here, here, Here's the harsh truth. Here's the harsh truth. I don't have a radio. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis. Thank you, Sherlock. Ted is hungry. Ted gets soup. Success. Profit. Uh, still waiting for Pancake to come back. He should... Mm, I wonder. I wonder. I think he's going to be... Um, he's going to come back and then we're going to need to follow him with the axe to a location which might yield food or water and then he will come back and we have to banish him. Ted should drink something soon. Yeah, soon. Not now. Not now. Barking on doorstep could only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Oh man, this challenge is good. Not caring for hazards of the waste and we rushed to open it and there he was. The poor thing seemed tired and starving. Should we share some of our food? Yes, we should. 
we just shared our can of soup with him. I th that was the last food we had. How much food do we have left now, though? Two cans. That means we can survive for ten more days. Let's hope Pancake brings up some soup when we get him here. Or roughly. Maybe 15 more days or so. That would be great. All right. Ted has always had a heart of gold. That's why we weren't really shocked. To Wait, what? All right. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know why they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's the good boy? Pancake stayed for a while, but was gone next morning. How did he get out the door? Seriously, did we just leave it open? Eh, whatever. Weird. Anyway. Ted has always had a heart of gold, and we fed him... Oh, we fed the cockroach water. That's what we did. Wow. Our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. They are, they're animals. They're, they're insects. They're living creatures, too. They need water. But a whole bottle of water? You probably drowned the poor thing, Ted. You probably drowned it. Ted looks like you got one from the grave. He needs water. He has rested. Yep, yep, yep. Tomorrow he's going to get some. The trash can of ours is disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yes, very good. Let's get that Boy Scout book out and to the works. I don't know how we're going to use it. Maybe there's some trash recycling tips. What to do if the trash overflows. I don't know what's written in those kings. <sighs> we dodged a bullet this time. That is if a bullet was huge. Harry had eight legs and a glowing head. Good, he needs to get a drink right now. Ted, here's your drink. And pen. Yeah, what? What? Oh, the interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we're moving things around, we found a secret door. That's what's behind it. There's only one to find, find out. Let's use the flashlight to shine some light onto that issue. And we found the map. Yay! Success! It was very fortunate that it had that we had a flashlight. It was... If it wasn't for that, we would have missed a pile of old maps collecting dust in a corner. There were mostly boring national park maps and the like, but one of them turned out to be the map of our town. Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. Well, I hope... Oh wait, does he need food? Nope, 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 he doesn't. Let's see... Nope, still no radio signal because no radio. We cannot make contact with the military. It should be time that Penke comes back. Um, to bark and we should follow him with the axe. I just hope he comes back Um, No new problems. I'm troubling Ted this fine morning my fine sir. I Do hope he comes back. We fed pancake and usually that means he is going to be around eventually No ifs and buts. Ted is hungry. Ted is really thirsty. Well food I can do And another radio another radio quest that doesn't help. I would fix it with the Boy Scout book if the game would let me. Hint, wink, wink. Random event. How about that? Okay, day 19. Well, still alive for nearly 20 days, which is not that bad in the first place. And not completely crazy. All right, another day without knowing what's going on is probably a good day. Hey, it's Pancake. Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous and he keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed out only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him with an axe. What gear? Yes. Very important to always bring an axe to what hopefully is not a gunfight. And we got actually some water. Neato. We got four bottles of water. A man with an axe is a force to be reckoned with. Those two thugs ran into while following Pancake learned this the hard way. Pancake was a real hero too. He chased them off and nearly made one of them leave their trousers behind. Not that anyone wanted them. Who would have guessed these two would have a respectable stash of water? Yay! That's great. Now we need some food. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it's day water, uh, day 20. We should give Ted some water. Very important. And the post-apocalypse. Ooh, a water chip. We can give him the water chip guy. Yes, some guy that says he wants the water chip fallout reference and we're going to give him a bottle of water and he's going to give us a gas mask in return for that well that's kind of neat oh yeah fantastic we don't need that much water so i was fine with trading that we explained politely that we didn't have a water chip but we are happy to share some water with him that man was visibly disappointed but thanked us while well, the water and even left us his gas mask no new problems are troubling ted this fine morning let's hope um Pancake should come back soon with the medkit. He should come back soon. And not with the medkit, and needs the medkit. I'm glad we still have it and didn't need to use it yet. This goes really well. Ted tries to hide it, but it's obvious he has a lot of issues. Of course he has. He has a sock puppet. I, it's very obvious. <sighs> still no event. Pancake, come back to me, boy. Come back to me. 
I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't come with us back after the event. Ah. <sighs> Okay, looks good. It is horrible to see a friend in pain, but when we saw Pancake whimpering at our doorstep, it was too much. Some bastards shot him, and he lost a lot of blood. Our only hope is to patch him up and hope for the best. Grab a medkit. Meaning... We are getting Pancake now. Day 24. Meaning... I have to survive until day 27 now, or until uh, 37, or the military saves me. That was the deal. If I live 13 days after Pancake, or the military uh, saves me, I win, so... Hey, Pancake! Oh, God, I always forget how, how loud that is. It really loud on my headsets. Ouch. Big ouch. It took a while, but we were able to patch Pancake up. Hi! Yay! That's great. Ted's stomach is rumbling, and he wants water. No, he doesn't want water right now. No longer... He's no longer crazy! Pancake make it, made him happy again. Yay! Okay. Uh, his stomach is rumbling, so we're gonna give him the last food we have. Water tomorrow. Um, surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this blow over soon and life will be back to normal. How it used to be. Dim, 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 dim. And he's crazy again. Well, at least for a bit he was doing okay. I don't know why he went crazy again. He must have been on the brink. Uh, we're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. I agree. I agree. That would be a fantastic. All right, time for water for Teddy Boy. Teddy Boy! Yeah, let's hope that Pancake brings us something. Ooh, what is that? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Yes, we would actually go in there even if I selected none of those things. So I'm going to take the axe and hopefully we can defend the possibility of an alligator in there. Looks good. And why do I still have a med kit? Oh, we found treasure down there. Pills, bottles, and other medical supplies were stacked on a sh few shelves down in a narrow room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us, we didn't find the source of the noise. Yay! Ted's mental health worried us all, but we don't know how to help him. I doubt there's anything I can do. And I really hope that Pancake goes out soon. He will eventually scratch at the door and wants out. He might bring back some food, some much-needed food soon. This is, this is my only concern. Uh, if I can get food, if I can get a can of food, I have won this challenge. Uh, at least I feel my chances are really good. Right now, I need to survive for 10 more days. And 10 more days without food? Oh, not looking good. Not looking good. All right. So, still no radio. Still getting... Uh, uh, did not get an event. A, poop, a group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking over a hatch is not something that we anticipated, yet this is exactly what happened. They insist that they are merry men and they take from the rich give to the poor. <sighs> okay. Worst thing that can happen, they take our stuff and the military won't be able to save us. Best case, we get food. I will let them in. I will let the merry men in. I'm going to try it. Because food is my biggest problem. I don't have food, so even if I... I can't lose more food than I already have. Yeah, they took from the rich. You silly... I took my axe and my... Uh... Flashlight. Man! They were not merry men at all. They told us they we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well. Where's water when Ted needs it? Is that my problem, Ted? It's yours. Okay, someone wanted to trade with us. Sadly, we do not have any ammunition or a checkers board. So we cannot engage in that event. We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but that was some... None of our business. Exactly. Ah, uh, can we do this, guys? Can we do this? It's getting... Getting scary. Really scary. It's gonna be day 30, so one week left. One measly week. Pancake, don't you want to go out, boy? Bring something? Ted's stomach is rumbling. He got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Okay, water, no problem. Totally down with that. It would be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog, he needs the space for running and other things. How about we send him out for a while? Yes! Send him out to do his uh, dirty business. Bit net. Um, did he bring something back? Oh, he brought back a... Thank you, Pancake. Pancake brought back a bottle of water. Thank you, Pancake. I have no idea how he was able to bring me water, but he brought me water. That is great. That is great that he brought water. I kind of need food, Pancake. I need food. Please feed me. Feed me, dog. Feed me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Still nothing we can do. I don't think the military is ever going to come for us. 
We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipe. That green liquid looks innocent enough. Okay, let's fix it with the Boy Scout book. It's never good when there's green goo leaking from the ceiling. Four more days. I don't know how long he can survive without food. Every day, Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Since early this morning, he has been completely committed to reading a newspaper, or rather something that he seemed to think was a newspaper. Our toilet tissue. He seemed very interested, so we didn't want to drag him away. He had to answer call of nature, but then he accidentally reached for a map. Yep. Mmm, fun times. Ted is hungry. Where's water when Ted needs it? Ted water's here. Water's here. Our hideout was approached by a man uh, we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he is a traitor. He would offer a card game for two bottles of water. I do not care about water, dear man. Dear sir, do you have food? Because I'm about to starve. Unless Pancake brings something. Stomach is rumbling. Oh, it's gonna be so close. It's hard to decipher anything from the ruined map, so it would be a good idea to restore it a bit, patch it up a little, maybe even update it. Sure, let's do that with the Boy Scout book. I don't know how we would update a map. Well, we... Oh, what? What happened? We completely ruined the damn map. We could blame someone, but it's probably safe to say the paper was of terrible quality. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, he might end really... It might end really badly. Oh my god, it's day 35. It is so close. Ted became infected with something. And he needs a drink right now. Okay, um, I can give him at least... I don't know why he got infected. That just happened. I'm going to give him a drink and the med kit. And just hope... We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampede out there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Yes, I will try that. Let's hope that Ted comes back alive. I gave him the med kit. He's back with food. We came back with food. Ah, oh, Lady Luck saved our ass. There's no other way to say that. We found the herd and were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get into it, a giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. Free cans of soup, thank you very much. Oh yeah. Guess who's going to win the challenge? Weasel's gonna win the challenge. Weasel's gonna win the... Mm -mm. Sorry, I could not resist making my little dance here. Alright, it's day 36... What? What? You gotta be kidding me! What? Water? How did that happen? I gave him water on day 35. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, game. You got to be kidding me. That is a pile of... Okay. Really? Okay. Something must have changed the... the, the, the what do you call it? The... Whenever they get water... Time changed. I gave him water not too long ago with the med kit. I don't know, maybe it didn't register. No idea, but it says too many days without water took the toll. Ted died of dehydration, which is super awkward. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this obscure writing. Well, yeah, see? Day 37. Th that makes no sense. Also, there's some, some weird things happening with the numbers. No, well, um, some days I guess something just didn't happen. Who knows? But that was really odd. It is... It is day 37. Did, did I survive? I don't know. I don't know. I think the only person who can answer this question is Legal Eagle Arbot, who made this challenge. So, would you say I survived it? Did I, did, I, did I win your challenge or didn't I? Let me know. Let me know. I would love to know. But uh, yeah, if you guys have uh, ideas for challenges, that can also include different wind conditions, whatnot. Let me know. Just write your ideas down. If you find one that you personally think is a lot of fun, upload it, hit that like button so I see you guys would love to see that. Um, nothing wrong with that. And I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.